Okay, now coming to the class. Okay, now coming to the class, I want to tell you people this. We are, we till now, we were studying about the uh, living organism. Yes or no? The living organism and its characteristics. Some of those characteristics we have already, already learned. That is, they move, they move, uh, they grow, they reproduce, they self-organize, and one among them is response to stimuli. As I know, the response to stimuli, which I've, uh, which I've already told you that, um, for example, was touch me, not plant. When you go and touch it, it closes. As I know, when you go and touch it, it closes. So hopefully, everyone has done that experiment. Yes or no? Yes, everyone has done that experiment that um, when you touch it, it closes. That is nothing but the response to stimuli. Okay, if you have not done, please go and do it. Okay, be your own scientist. So please do go and do it and uh, check what happens when you go and touch it. It closes. That is nothing but the response to stimuli. Okay, that is response to stimuli. My response to touch. Okay, response to something external environment. Okay, response to something external environment. You are going and touching it. Uh, the plant doesn't say you, right? Come and touch and I'll close it. No, right? Yes or no? So uh, you go and touch it, means it's uh, responding to you. Okay, it is responding to you. It is uh, responding to your touch. Okay, it is responding to your touch. That is response to stimuli or uh, external environment. For example, is phototropism and chemotaxis. We'll know more about uh, what is phototropism and chemotaxis is. But uh, if you remember the last video, last time video, you remember uh, uh, there was a sunflower which was playing a guitar. Remember anyone? There was a sunflower which was playing the guitar, but when uh, there was the sun uh, rise up, the sun rise up, what happened? When the sun rise up, what happened? When the sun rise up, what happened there? What happened to the sunflower? What what the sunflower did? Quick, anyone remembers? Yes, very good. It turned towards the Sun, yes or no? Uh, it turned towards the sun. Okay, Sharad. What happened was very good. Yeah, the flower just uh, the bloom when it turned towards the sun. Yes, that is what is known as phototropism. Okay, photo means light. Okay, photo means light. Photo means light. You remember, uh, you must be aware about photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is process of preparing food, process of preparing food of the plants by using light. Yes or no? Everyone are aware about what is photosynthesis. Yes or no? Photosynthesis is nothing but a process in plants where they use light to prepare the food. Okay, to prepare their own food. So what happens here is, uh, but it is not a phototropism, whereas phototropism is nothing but which reacts towards the light. Okay, which reacts towards the light. What happened there when the sunflower were busy singing with the guitar? What happened? The, when the sun rised up, they turned towards the sun. Okay, they turned towards the sun. And that is nothing but called as phototropism. And phototropism can also be this. When they go against the light. Okay, when they go against the light, when they do not want light, also is known as phototropism. Some plants are for, for light loving. Some of the organisms are light, uh, they do not love the light. Uh, some plants are, uh, some plants like sunflower, they love the light. So they turn towards the sun. Whereas some of the plants do not love the light. They don't want the light. So what they do is they, uh, they turn against the sun. Understanding, right? They turn against the uh, sun and both the, both the cases can be phototropism. Okay, and both the cases can be phototropism. Clear to everyone? Clear about this? Yes. Okay. So this phototropism, uh, turning towards the light. Okay, turning towards the light and against the light, both the way it can be phototropism. Okay. Clear to everyone, right? Bharat, Saran, Sarat, Anjula, Monica, then Nayana, uh, Deepak. So everyone it is clear, right? Okay, fine. So uh, next, uh, Tasmiya. So next coming to chemotaxis, we'll know more about what chemotaxis is. Let us not confuse ourselves learning it now. But something it is also responds to the external environment. Okay, Purnima, okay, fine. Uh, yes, Monica. Then next coming to what is homeostasis? 
homeostasis is uh, you remember right what i have said you last class homeostasis is nothing but to regulate their own temperature they regulate their own internal temperature okay to regulate their own temperature uh, own internal temperature what is known as homeostasis if you see to uh, see into the last class i have given you the example where in the cold uh, during the winters or any cold regions when the organisms stay what they do is they regulate their own temperature so that they can survive so that they can survive into that particular condition okay they regulate their own temperature so that they can survive into the particular uh, temperature or the particular environment okay homeostasis is nothing but regulation of the internal environmental temperature okay uh, maintaining the internal temperature i have given you the example in the last class also yes priya yes sunana punima you have understood this right so this is what we have done in the last class as well uh, let us go to the next uh, next topic uh, what it is also i have explained about this cellular organization and all you can see the video okay please do see the video i have already uh, explained about uh, the different what is cellular organization what is metabolism how the interaction takes place and all it's been uh, please uh, i have been explained it to you please go through the video okay please go through the video about the, to know about the different characteristics okay uh, you only have to know is there are other internal characteristics also there are other internal characteristics also of the organism that is one is cellular organization one is metabolism interaction with the cells and living organism and heredity self adaptation and evolve when you will go through the video you will get to know okay if there are any doubts regarding that you can ask me in the next class okay okay to everyone okay good students so now this is also explained uh, but uh, once again i'll uh, just have a brief about this okay uh, so this is growth okay growth and development what a living organism is what are the life processes of the living organism um there are different life processes yes or no so now you people move yes uh, living organism move uh, you will say about the plants but plants are, they do not move but they are living organism okay a living organism move they respire uh, they grow uh, they excrete out they remove out the waste products from their body then uh, they take up the food for nutrition they reproduce uh, and these all things are what are the different characteristics of the living organism now some uh, i have known also i know that you people know about the uh, living you uh, know the heredity i know this you know about the heredity now everyone should be answering me what is heredity in your own words you tell me what is heredity tell me everyone uh, like you just give me in your own words I, okay what example i had given about the heredity you give me the same example give me the same example what was heredity anyone remembers anyone remembers what is heredity remember what happens in heredity we have already discussed changes okay changes in what manner changes is for okay fine if i take your answer sharat very good but changes is something which for evolution okay and a characteristics very good people the transform okay the transmission of characters or traits from parents to their offspring is termed as heredity very good if there is any doubt or questions please put down in the chat box or the answers as well okay very good people and nayana as well uh, characteristics yes the transmission yes very nice you studied it yeah you already studied it but once again i will repeat it okay very good people uh, the transmission yes the transmission of characters or traits character uh, characters are also known as traits okay last class i have already um, explained it to you others also must be answering me okay remember the traits are nothing but characters okay i have already uh, informed it to you traits are nothing but characteristics generation to generation translation of character is yes, very good generation to generation transfer of the characteristics is nothing but called as heredity okay uh, so taking up deepak manjula and divya's uh, 
this definition very good to all one who all are answering to everyone so the the heredity is nothing but transmission of characters or traits from one parent uh, from the parent to the offspring is known as heredity okay in the last uh, video which is uploaded i have given the example again heredity is nothing but um, now see for example uh, you remember right people uh, when you go to see a small baby and all where you say that um, yeah where you say that uh, what you do uh, you people go to uh, when you go to see an baby all will be uh, comparing the characteristics of that baby to their parents yes or no they will tell that okay the eyes are similar to the uh, mother the nose is similar to her dad or um, the grandparents the voice uh, i mean guys the color yes or no you must have come across this never came across when you see go to see a new baby a newborn baby where the people compare the characteristics yes or no yes or no divya sharan uh, deepak ambika yes uh, the one who are answering also and the one who was uh, one who are very interactive in the class also to all of them i am asking yes or no you do that right you compare the yes you compare those uh, the characteristics between them so that means that something is there which comes from parents to the baby yes or no that something which is there which comes from the parents to the baby and what deepak has given in his definition that characteristics come from the parents to the offspring okay those characteristics or those similarities come from the those similarities come from the parents from the grandparents from the family from the sister or the elder brother they get that to the offspring to the small baby okay that is something but called as heredity okay transferring of the characteristics from the parents to the offspring is nothing but, from generation to generation is nothing but called as heredity it can be it can be from any generation someone has given the answer from generation transmission of the characteristics from generation to generation very good uh, yes from the parents to the offspring yes this is nothing but and uh, Uh, transfer of physical and mental character genetically from one generation to another yes that is also correct very good sharan so it transferring of the characteristics okay transferring of the characteristics from the uh, one generation to the other generation from the parents to the offspring is nothing but called as heredity remember this okay remember this if i ask you the question what is heredity you should be able to answer okay everyone everyone should be able to answer this is what about heredity now everyone are uh, aware about what is homeostasis yes or no what is a homeostasis what is homeostasis what is homeostasis quickly will uh, in your own words do not uh combine very scientific words and all science is something i mean at least biology is something which has to be like some something which comes from your own imagination uh, or not just imagination from your own self with what you understand which i have already uh, explained to you what happens uh during very winters uh, winter season and all you wear gloves mufflers Uh, sweaters or pullovers and the monkey cap and everything you cover yourself yes or no you cover yourself just for fashion very cold environment what do you do you cover yourself right you uh, put on the warm clothes and all why do you do that just no uh, just because to uh, stable the temperature of your body yes or no so that you can feel the warmness in your body yes to protect yes to protect yourself from the cold the same thing now now imagine yes you do you uh, because you feel cold you cover you wear the warm things warm things now what do you do now think about the aquatic animals for example i am telling yes yes good sharan ability to maintain a stable internal state very good uh, this is uh, now uh, for example uh, we will take for aquatic animals aquatic animals will be in the water okay the water uh, chills up or uh, it it becomes cold uh, when um, 
because of the season yes or no it the, the temperature drops of that water now what about the living organism which are present there do you go do you also go and make them wear this uh, sweaters and all do you do that no right they have to make themselves uh, suitable for that condition now okay they have to make uh, themselves suitable for that condition now and now that uh, making themselves stable or suitable for that condition is known as homeostasis okay where very good sharon who has given the definition here ability to maintain a stable internal state okay okay so next coming to metabolism metabolism as i have explained in the that video which has been put up uh, an hour back i feel where, where the metabolism where what happens is uh, the chemical reaction takes place to give out the energy for your body now what happens is you take up the food okay you take up the food the food what happens is the food doesn't go to your stomach and just fill there what it does there is some reaction taking place that is the breaking down of the food takes place okay the breaking down of the food takes place and many such chemicals come in to get that food broken down and the product which we get from these chemical reaction is nothing but called as energy okay the product what we get from the breaking down of such um, uh, food by the chemical reaction is called as energy okay that what we get from this chemical reaction is nothing but energy okay we we'll know more about the cellular structure and composition reaction can the outside the body into cell reaction okay ambika uh, uh, it's a okay whether you are saying mithas or you are asking the question reaction can be outside the body in the cell free system self there are uh, chemical reaction uh, do take place either it is outside the body or inside the body and uh, inside the body many enzymatic reaction takes place let us not go into the detail yes very good metabolism is something which uh, uh, the reaction takes place chemical reaction takes place let us not uh, hamper ourselves just uh, with Uh, these all details about the enzymes and all let us go very slow let us enjoy each topic and let us study about it okay uh, next coming to respond to the environment yes that you have uh, heard many a times me telling you the example so what happens and uh, something which you have to be very inquisitive you have to go and touch it and see whether what happens how it happens why does this closes only on your touch and all okay let us know more about this and we will have all these experiments going on so what i'm saying you are uh, a living organism has uh, these many characteristics they grow they reproduce there is heredity homeostasis metabolism cellular structure and composition and respond to the environment okay this is let us go to the next slide now let us know more about uh, what is there now and then about the growth this is the definition which i have already explained in that video but still once again let us know increase in the mass or the number of individual or cell i have already told you increase in the mass and size okay increase in the mass and size is for us whereas the uh, number of individuals or cells is for microorganism okay it is for it is for microorganism okay now uh, number of individual where what happens there is Uh, for microorganism, what we do, we do not see how how big they are growing. We see when we want to see for microorganism, we just see that how much how much of number of the colonies have increased, how much of microorganism are increasing. That is what is growth for microorganism. So it is said as number of individuals or cells. Okay. Whereas for us, it is size and mass. Okay. I have explained you uh, how the growth. It takes place and how you uh, how this what is the definition and all. Please go through that video. Okay, this is the definition. Note down and take increase in mass and size, uh, mass and size or the number of individuals or cells. Okay, now coming to your uh, till here it has been uh, explained growth in multicellular organism. Uh, growth in multicellular organism. Now coming to what is multicellular and uh, unicellular. Multicellular means. what what do you think what do you think what is uh, what will be the definition of multicellular what will be the definition of multicellular 
Where are all others gone? Answer here. Yeah. What is the definition of multicellular? What will be? What is multi and cellular for you? What do you think? What it will be? Any answer? Give me. So okay. What will be? Multi, multimedia, multi pulse. These all things are multi. more. Very good, Rina. Yes, more. Multi pulse. Multi means more. And what is cell? What is the definition of cell? More. Very good. Very good, Abhika. Multi pulse defining multi. Feature of life form. Okay. Multi pulse means it divides. Okay. Uh, tell me now, what will be cell? What is cell? What is the definition of cell? Let me see if you remember. Yes, which have more two or more cell. Very good, Purnima. Organism which contain more than one cell. Very good. Yes, organism which contain more than one cell is called as multicellular. Okay, multi means many, and cell is you know. What is cell definition? No one is given me the answer. Uh, tell me the answer of the cell. What is cell? Last class we have already discussed. No, what is cell? Very good, Deepa. Organism contains more more than one cell or more cells. Very good. The structural unit of life, Rina. Very good to you. A uh, structural unit of life. Okay. A uh, many cells form tissue. Okay, many cells form tissues. Very good, Ambika. Structural and functional unit of life is known as cell. Remember this definition. If I ask the question, what is cell? Then the answer is the structural and functional unit of life. Very good, Divya. Uh, the structural or basic unit of living organism is known as yes. Unit of life is called as cell. Okay. Structural and functional unit of life is called as cell. These are basic things you have to know. Okay, basic is very important for any subject it is. So, structural and functional unit of a living organism or a structural function unit of a life is known as cell. Okay. So, now as you got the idea, what is multicellular? Is okay. Multi means many, and cell cell means many cells. Okay. Okay, Divya. If there is any doubt, please put down in the uh, chat box or a question or answer anything it is. One mother cell divides into two daughter cells. Yes. Okay. 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 No problem. So we will know about this. One mother cell. How does it uh, it divides with the two daughter cells? We'll know more about this. Uh, so what is cell division? We'll know more. But first, you should know what is multicellular. Multicellular means many cell. Whereas, uh, what will be Unicellular. When you know about multicellular now, what is unicellular? What is unicellular? We'll write here. What is unicellular? Uni means single. Uni means single. I've uh, we let us I have broken down it. Uni means single. So, what will be the definition? Yes, uni means single. Yes. Yeah, the animals which have only one cell. Very good to everyone who is answering. Dina, Punima, Divya, Monica, Priya. Very good. Uni means single. The organism which have only one cell is known as unicellular. Uh, anyone knows the example? Anyone? Single cell organism. Very good. Bharat. Yes. Single cell organism are known as unicellular. Amoeba. Very good, Bharat. Amoeba is the answer. Uh, the answer for this uh, example for this is amoeba. Okay. Amoeba is the answer. So we will know how by the cell division, how the plant and the animal grow. Okay, we'll know more about this. So hopefully the class has been clear to you. If there are any doubts regarding this, please do ask me now. Okay. Uh, so today we learned about uh, this growth, about the different characteristics, and now the about the different.